Ah, oh, Pronto, I'm so happy to finally find it. Okay, this is Cooking Pal's brand new product. Today we're gonna to be cooking three preservatives, a spread, a marmalade, and a curd, all cooked on these amazing products. You hear crazy stories about people putting a lemon in a microwave to juice it. Petrified, I would not want to do that. Imagine exploding. I have all the confidence in the world that this lemon curd is perfect. Perfect. Okay guys, here we have our three amazing spreads that we've cooked between Pronto and also Molto. We have our apple butter, which is vegan and gluten-free. We have our orange marmalade and our fabulous lemon curd. Three different preservatives. Okay, please like and share this video and then subscribe to our channels. Okay guys, the first dish that we're gonna be making is we're gonna be making our apple butter. Now this is a fantastic recipe because it's completely um, vegan, dairy free, lactose free, gluten free. Um, we're gonna be utilizing our amazing brand new product, Pronto, okay, which is a, our pressure cooker. And then we're also gonna be using Malto as well. So it's a really good multi-device recipe, okay, to show and maximize how important both of these things can be within your kitchen. Now, to start off with, um, we are gonna be using uh, Pronto. We're gonna be pressure cooking the apple. Benefit with pressure cooking something or cooking it on a pressure cooker, it dramatically reduces, okay, the amount of cooking time. So, a little bit of preparation. Now, what we've done is uh, we pre-prepared the apple. Now, we've peeled the apple and we've also cored it as well. And actually, for this recipe, there's no divine requirement to actually remove the skin. You can also cook it on the skin because as it pressure cooks, as it chops down, it, it will blend. But, but for me, it's one of my, I prefer to do it because it kind of makes it a lot more smoother. Okay, now we're gonna start pressure cooking now. Okay, we've got a very nice lid handle where you can open the pressure cooker, it unlocks it, okay, and it works really, really well. Now, we're gonna simply add our apples into Pronto, and then all of our other spices. So we've got our cinnamon, sugar, salt, vanilla extract, and then also nutmeg. Now what we are going to do is we're gonna give that a little bit of a mix first. We're gonna make sure it's all nice and combined and then we are good to go. Now within pressure cook mode, okay, you have a couple of different variables. Now we're gonna, for this recipe, we're gonna select high pressure and then we're gonna have the cook time to 15 minutes start. Now, as you'll notice, it's telling us that it's pressurizing. The timer hasn't started counting down yet because what it's going to do, it's gonna build up that pressure. Now, we have an automatic pressure release valve within the top of Pronto, so you'll be able to release that automatically. We're utilizing our pressure cooker here to obviously uh, pressure cook our fabulous um, apples for our apple butter. The second recipe that we're gonna be making within the time frame, we're gonna be making our lemon curd. Again, you know, it's another spread, okay, um, made with citrus fruits, um, also works well with other different kind of fruits. So really, really super simple. And this is one of our fabulous guided cooking recipes. Um, and we're just gonna follow it step by step and then we're gonna have a great curd. Now, the curd, once it's finished, is gonna be quite liquidy. Don't worry, you need to refrigerate it so it's set nice and hard and then it'll be great for weeks in the fridge. So our egg yolks are gonna go in and then our sugar. Now, when we are making preservatives and jams and curds, spreads, don't get overawed with the amount of sugar that goes in there. And honestly, there's really not too many ways to make them slightly more healthier. The sugar is important because it's that's gonna act as the uh, medium to uh, preserve it and to keep it lasting for a long period of time. Now, once we've got our egg in there, we're gonna insert our butterfly whisk. Now, that's gonna obviously beat up the sugar and the egg yolk. And we're gonna be beating this for around about three minutes until the egg yolks and the sugar have all combined and it's really light and pale within color. Now, wash your lemons before you zest them. Ideally, buy the unwaxed lemons because basically the, you're just grating some wax inside of your thing. If you have bought an unwa unwaxed lemon like this one was, don't worry, get a scouring pad, get some warm water and just wash the wax off and then that's gonna be absolutely fine. 
we're gonna we're gonna zest the lemon and now we're gonna juice it now to juice it I like to roll it on the surface and then we're going to slice it and then we're just gonna juice it now a quick and easy way to catch the pips if you don't want to do too much washing up now what we're gonna do is we're just going to check our finished curd and you see there it's beat it up nicely it's a lot it's nice and pale and fluffy then we're gonna move on to our next step and then what we need to do now is we just need to combine all of these ingredients the remaining ingredients together so we're gonna have our lemon juice some water now we add the water to lemon juice otherwise if we were to add another lemon for an example the flavor is going to be far too sour our lemon zest so you could replace the water with an additional lemon juice or even a different kind of citrus which will also work well and then we're going to add our corn flour and then we're just going to mix that together very gently once that's done we're going to add it in okay and cooking out the lemon curd Now, with our lemon curd itself, okay, it's, our, our custard's nice and warm, and then we're just gonna give it a little bit of a mix. At this stage, I'm gonna remove the measuring cup. I don't want any more moisture in there. I'm gonna move on to the next step, and then I'm gonna be cooking it again. This time we cook it for 10 minutes. So the last thing we're gonna do, obviously once this is cooked, and again, I'm not even gonna bother taking the lid off. I'm just gonna be throwing the butter through the, um, the, the hole. Now, the cold butter, that's the important part. You need to have the cold butter because the cold butter is going to give you a nice glossy kind of finish and you'll see that later. Now, we're now done, okay? I'm just looking at my um, pressure cooker. We've got one minute remaining. So this timing is going to be absolutely epic. So we're going to move on to the last step, okay? And that's just simply adding the cold butter into the mixing bowl. I'm going to press start, okay? And then this is going to be mixing the butter in there okay we have cooking our lemon curd here and as you see inside there it's such a beautiful color then we're just going to pour our lemon curd directly into this container look at it it's a perfect color a perfect texture it's going to thicken as it cooks we have now depressurized that valve has gone down so we're going to be able to open the lid and then see what we're having on here it looks absolutely beautiful now what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be processing the um, apple then we're going to put it back into pronto to saute okay just to thicken up and all i'm going to do i'm going to very carefully i'm going to add all of my apple mix into the molto bowl and then we're going to be processing that we're going to process it for 20 seconds at speed 10. as you see our apple butter looks nice it's nice and I would say it looks a little bit like a smoothie at this point but we need to reduce this down we need to evaporate some of this liquid so now what we're going to do is we're going to add this into pronto now we're going to be using saute mode at this point to stir it once it starts reducing you have to stir the apples just to make sure that it is good to go the third and final recipe that we're going to be making we're making an orange marmalade now the process of actually making marmalades and jam it involves boiling your sugar to a certain temperature for a period of time until that sugar can start to cook and set now the difference between a jam and a marmalade um, you would tend to use with jam soft fruits that won't require any kind of pre-cooking before you actually make the jam now with a marmalade it's usually with citrus fruit is usually has, has a bit more texture where we uh, will boil the um, fruit previously before we actually add the sugar now moving on to the marmalade itself so we're going to add our oranges directly into our molto with our lemons so now what we're going to do okay we're just going to be chopping it and processing it up with the skins and the pith and everything now that's it done okay we're not looking for it completely chopped and completely pureed if you notice that your apple butter starts to kind of spit and start overflow from outside of the the, the pronto bowl okay i'm just going to get some foil or you and then i'm just going to put it across the top marmalade here now all right we're going to chop up our marmalade pieces we're going to add our water and then what we need to do we need to cook 
and boil out our marmalade. All right, guys, so look, we've got about four to five minutes left on the first step on the marmalade, and then we're gonna go over to our beautiful um, apple butter. Okay, now it's cooked. Okay, I've, I remember I put that foil on just to stop your spitting. It's just, it's just like a little bit of a safe. So look, now we're gonna carefully remove this, okay, from pronto. And now I'm just gonna spoon it very carefully into this container. Um, but I promise you it is super tasty. And on some sliced bread, on some, um, inside some donuts or anything like that, uh, this apple butter would be perfect. Okay, now we finished now with the boiling of our citrus fruits, of our oranges and lemons, okay? So these skins and this peel is gonna be nice and softened, okay? Now the next step, we're just gonna scrape down the sides, okay, and then we're gonna add this sugar in. Now we're gonna attach the lid, and we're gonna simply move on to the next step, okay? Where we're gonna be cooking out the marmalade for 25 minutes at about 220 Fahrenheit. <clears throat> be careful it is hot and, and again don't worry if you look at it it kind of looks a bit like an orange juice okay and um, whilst it goes into the fridge it must cool down it will set and then that will look absolutely perfect so we're gonna very carefully we're gonna pour it into this container and again it, it's it's gonna set when it goes into that fridge it's a beautiful vibrant color we've got a lovely um, showcase our fabulous pronto, we've showcased Malto, so we've got our lemon curd, our apple butter, and then we've also got our marmalade. You could actually have a go at making the marmalade in pronto as well, which also works fabulously.